Hello and welcome to another episode of the How to Become a TV Presenter podcast with me, Brian Naylor from the TV Training Academy. Now, we do have some regular listeners to the podcast, so hello everybody who's been listening on a, on a regular basis. Uh, one of them is Neil, and Neil's left us a question. Um, and it's a common thing that I hear this uh, that, that Neil's asked, and he says, why is it that... Whenever I get an audition or a screen test that I really want, that I mess it up. It's the ones they really, really want. They are always the ones where you put that pressure on yourself and they tend to go wrong. And then sometimes you go into a, an audition or a screen test and you're not all that keen on it. It's no big deal. And you just, it's an absolute dream and you get the job almost inevitably. Well, there's a couple of things here that I would mention. So, Neil, the first thing is, um, I think what happens is we try too hard. You're trying too hard. You're putting too much pressure on yourself to get it right, to get it absolutely perfect. I think you need to clear your head of the 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 sort of circumstances and the weight of the world that you're putting on it and the... And the hope that you have, because, you know, if you get a really good job, it can be a life changing experience. But if you're thinking about that and you're taking that into the audition room, then you're not leaving yourself the best chance because that's just sort of hovering over you and you start to analyze everything you do and you say. So remember the basics. You've got to know how to present. You've got to be confident in your presenting. I've said this before, I know, but it's so important. Make sure that you're not going in there going, right, now, how do I do the auto cue again? Or what what do I need to do with interviews and agendas? Or where should I look? How should I stand? What should I do with my hands? You shouldn't be worrying about any of those things. That should all be second nature at this point when you're going in for those big auditions. So make sure that you are absolutely well practiced and confident in your skill. The next thing is to just trust yourself, to trust your opinions, to trust your ideas, to trust that I, I, well, not to trust, but just to remember that when you're talking and sometimes you're ad-libbing and you're talking about a product, or you're talking about an event or a situation, that not everybody has to agree with you. That's not what it's about. You're never, ever going to get everybody to agree with you. People have different opinions and your opinions and the different opinions that you have actually make you interesting. That's brand you. That's your personality. You have an opinion on this, that or the other, which is different to other people. However, it doesn't matter if they don't agree with you. All that matters is that they can see and they can hear that you are being genuine. This is coming from a genuine place, that you're enthusiastic, you have a bit of passion about what you're talking about. And I always say, as long as you are coming from a good place, that you are not just trying to impress people, trying too hard to be clever or funny, if that's not you, just just don't go there. Um, if you are just being yourself and you're coming from a good place, then you're bulletproof because everybody's experiences in life are different. It's all subjective. So if you think that uh, one thing should be this, that or the other, that's because of what you've experienced, what you've heard, what you've read. And you're entitled to that opinion. And as I said, that what makes you you and when you do that and when you're confident just to be yourself to let your opinions out there uh, you'll find that the right kind of people will be attracted or will follow you will listen to you because they just sort of get your you-ness they get the, what you're all about and they're comfortable listening to you and you attract I've heard it described as you attract the right try people will will sort of um, gravitate towards you and feel comfortable listening or watching you because you're just on the same sort of wavelength as they are but you can only do that when you're not trying too hard to impress people to make everybody like you so it really is about just trusting yourself and you know these kind of um, anxieties that people have I, I do see it a lot in young people sometimes because they don't have the life experience that you know somebody like me is has been around for a while you've got 30 years of professional presenting under your belt you've just got the life experience and you're able 
to just know that whatever happens, you're going to be okay because, you know, you're not out there to hurt anybody. You're not out there to be nasty. You're, you're just saying what you truly believe. Um, so young people in particular do sometimes have a little bit of lack of um, that, that confidence in themselves and their opinions, especially sometimes when they're, they're talking to older people with more life experience. But you, sh- you shouldn't hold back. It's, it's when you hold back that you start to become a little bit sort of bland. There's no light and shade to your personality. So be yourself and just be confident in being yourself. And don't worry too much about what other people think. If you're constantly trying to second guess what people's opinions are or what will please somebody, it doesn't work. It's, it's just too much like hard work. So just be yourself. Everybody else is taken. Um, a short Uh, episode this week Um, don't forget that uh, you can of course um, contact us if you have any questions like uh, Neil did a number of ways you can do that you can go to our Twitter Instagram or YouTube accounts that's TV Training Academy just search for that you can go to um, what else can you do Facebook TV Presenter Training and of course our website tvtrainingacademy.com oh just to mention as well on the 2nd of March um, the This year, 2019, we'll be holding a very special live event with Helen Shepard, BAFTA winning BBC director. She's going to be talking about how to find work, how to approach people, how to get into the television industry and television channels. And she's absolutely at the top of her game, being a BBC director and having won a a BAFTA just um, uh, late last year. Now, that's happening, as I said, on the 2nd of March. Best thing is to go along to the website, tvtrainingacademy.com. Have a look at that and come and join us. Uh, I'll be there as well. I'll be talking about some of the the techniques that you need for on-screen presenting and vlogging and YouTubing and all that. That's it from me um we'll speak to you next time cheers